I was born in Los Angeles. Havana, Cuba. Winzhou, China. August 21st, in 1997. 1992. 1944. I was 9 years old. I was 15 years old. I came a month before 9-11. In 1960. I came with my dad. My parents sent my brother and I. My great-grandmother came because I don't think she was happy in Mexico. She brought us here. The government changed in Cuba. We didn't know any English whatsoever, but we made it here okay. I knew a little bit of the language, so when I came to America, it was easier for me to learn. I had to speak most of the time in English. My ancestors came here for better opportunities. I attended Los Angeles High School for one semester, moving to the valley where I attended Reseda High. My brother and I had to leave going to college so that we could work and help support the family. My life had become um, more or less settled here in LA, where we're still residing. We really put emphasis on Chinese New Year. It's like one of the biggest holidays. And um, in China, I know that it's crazy. Like everybody, all the families get together. And it's like a big Thanksgiving dinner that we all have. But I have half my family is still here in the United States, and half the family is in China. So we still have our little gatherings. Cuban traditions have become very um, well known now. We have been able to uh, continue with all our traditions, in, and uh, including the new traditions of, in America. Uh, we've been teaching our children the language, history, and we try to continue with traditions by celebrating Nochebuena, which is the 24th of December. Uh, we have family gatherings. We try to incorporate our foods and traditions in all of our parties. And uh, we talk to our children a lot so that they do know that they had relatives uh, who they were before the, the uh, past generations and we we are lucky to have pictures and um, uh, books that will teach our children and our grandchildren about our traditions. I may not look like it but I am Mexican and Irish. We have leek soup on St. Patty's Day. And in addition to that we also have the Mooncake Holiday. So the Mooncake Festival is basically where it's a full moon I believe and you eat mooncake while you observe the beautiful moon. As our identity as Chinese um, people, we still observe these holidays because they really have a big significance on us. I left Cuba with mixed feelings because most of my friends were still back in the island and I left my parents behind. I was just a teenager with lots of ideas and dreams. I welcome the idea to live in America and to learn about the customs here. My heritage is like an identity to me. My heritage allows me to cross like multi-culture barriers. It allows me to like interact with people, just be able to really relate to them and ultimately defines who I am. I had to be transitioned and have dealt with a lot into the American society and culture. So I think it really resonates with me now as as um, a Asian American. Just be able to understand a different culture is something awesome. Just be able to have respect para mí ha sido muy importante y muy especial el poder contribuir con todos aquí nuestras tradiciones, especialmente con mi familia, con mis hijos y mis nietos. Me siento muy orgullosa de haber nacido en Cuba, Los Angeles, Wenzhou, China. Pero también me siento sumamente orgullosa de ser una ciudadana americana. I am American, we're all American, but America is a country of money.